what I'm not going to talk about is some of the other stuff in the creationism evolution wars. So I'm not going to talk about... <laughs> John, John's email informed me that I had to be hilarious, so this is why I'm not going to talk about silly transition models or crappy ducks. I'm not going to talk about some of the crazier aspects of creationism, particularly young earth creationism, because there's quite a lot of crazy stuff out there. Um, I'm going to try to stick to the science. Um, I'm going to talk about why evolution is almost certainly correct, and this guy's going to feature later in that. And um, for all the crazy creationism stuff, one of the best resources, if you are an expert, is the Talk Origins Archive online. Um, fantastic resource, dating back a number of years, all kinds of crazy stuff going on in there. But they have point by point rebuttals with scientific literature if you're interested in that. And this has been published as a book, The Cancer Creations Handbook, which I noticed to my great delight is available at the Museum of Nature just down the road. So if you want a copy, you can copy that. Um, what I am going to talk about is largely going to be an overview of the evidence for evolution. I've, I've picked a number of different strains of evidence. And one of the wonderful things about evolution is it stands on mutually independent strengths of evidence. But I've picked a bunch, and I <coughs> hope you agree that these are, these are some of the key experts. This is going to be a skeptical look about it, at evolution, so I'm going to include some, some, uh, some excerpts from a recently published book on questions in 